Guys, we are at the GHL booth with Vinny and checking out some of the hot new products. Want to give me a quick tour of what you got? Yeah, so if you come out over here, we, you can see our upcoming product. This is called the Proflux Temperature Control, short for PTC2. And basically what this is, is a heating and cooling element. So the way this works is you connect this either in line to an existing pump, for example, a return pump, mm -hmm. or you connect it to a dedicated feed pump. And the way that this works is as the water is running through the unit, the Proflux 4 controller, which is what this interface is with, will automatically heat and cool the water based on where you want to maintain your tank temperature. Oh, that's very cool. It's kind of neat that it has both aspects of it, right? Yeah, and, and so as, as far as the options go, uh, mm -hmm. this isn't going to be our only option. This is going to be offered in a, um, a three fan up to six fan unit. Yep. So you could you could basically daisy chain multiple PTC mm -hmm. units together uh, to Have better, a mon better control your, your tank temperature. Nice. Yes, yes. Now, like for this unit, for example, how much of a temperature swing could it increase or decrease? Uh, so a four fan unit would be suitable for about a 70, 80 gallon tank if you're looking to get about a two, three degree pull down. Yep. Okay, awesome. Yep. So right. got the new line of lighting coming out. Yep, so what we have here is our Mitras LX7 LED lights. Mm -hmm. This is our upcoming four cluster unit, mm -hmm. which will be available sometime in the, in the autumn. Um, and basically what these lights do is they give you a two foot by three foot spread. And if you look closely, you'll see that our lights do not use optics. We end up using reflectors. Yep. And what this accomplishes is it gives you a nice blanket like distribution. Mm -hmm. So it eliminates any of the hot spots and color blending issues yeah. that, that one might encounter. Mm -hmm. um, it, it comes with a built-in side display. Yep. So you can get a quick glance of what's going on with the light. Mm -hmm. It also includes built-in Wi-Fi, so you can yep. get it connected to your home network and the cloud without needing any extra accessory to do so. Nice. Um, it can be used as a standalone product, so, you, so if you wanted to use the LX7, you do not need a Pro Plus controller to do mm -hmm. that. You just you just pick up the LX7, yep. you set it up through the phone, and you'll be yep. good to go. Excellent. All right, now we got all our controllers. Um, so the cage director, I haven't used this one, but it looks like a pr pretty awesome little product so far. Um, now, one of the new ones you have coming out is the Ion Director, which I think is going to yes. be a huge kind of game changer for a lot of the automated testers. Yes, so the Ion Director has been our upcoming, upcoming product that yep. we're going to be releasing. Uh, sometime around November. We will actually have a prototype on display for Macna. Nice. Um, so to tell you a little bit about the Ion Director is it's going to be, um, as you put it, it's, it's going to be a pretty pretty unique yeah. product in that it's going to monitor and monitor your magnesium, your calcium, and quite possibly your phosphates and nitrates. Yeah, I think that'll be huge. So we have options. That'll, that'll be huge. <laughs> yes. And then is that going to interface with the doser like the case director does? Yes, it's going to yeah. interface with the doser. Um, and the way it's going to work is it's going to use one dosing pump to introduce the water sample. Yep. And in one shot, it's going to test all of those, all of those parameters. Mm -hmm. And as far, as far as the case director goes, yep. This is, what, this is what we have on the market right now. Yeah. This is our alkalinity monitor slash control system. Mm -hmm. And the way that works is it use, utilizes three dedicated dosing pumps. Yep. So one dosing pump is going to be for the, uh, the water sample from yep. the tank. Second pump is for your reagent. Mm -hmm. Third pump is for your wastewater. So after the test is complete, that third pump is going to be responsible for extracting the wastewater from the KHD. Mm -hmm. As the KHD does its test, you can have it either provide the KH value or you can have it give you the KH value and actually make an adjustment to your existing alkalinity schedule. Okay. Where, so do you get use an app or how do you get the value of the results from the test? You can, you can set it up through an app. Yep. You can set it up through, uh, through the cloud. Yep. You can use uh, our PC software, GHL Control Center. So, okay. you, so you have multiple ways to control and monitor your your cage director and your cage values. Okay, excellent. And then for the ion director, is it, do you know how many pumps it's gonna need yet? Yes. In the works? It's in the works. Yeah, it's okay. in the works. 
perfect. So I'm assuming it'll probably be a similar form factor, all yes. lined up nicely. Yes. And yep, the design yeah. language will be the same. Yep. So it's going to have that same uh, modularity. So you'll be able to put it side by side or yep. stack it on top of a, a dumpster. Excellent. Or keep the, good, keep the sleek product. look going. Yes, yeah, definitely. Excellent, excellent. OK, now another good one. Uh, so you got two different dosers. you got the 2.1 and you got the maxi doser with the big heavy duty heads on it. Yep. What's the biggest kind of different use cases that you see people using these for? So we see a lot of people who want to dose um, calcium alk mag. Yep. They end up using the dose of 2.1. Mm -hmm. These are the type of heads that can give you 35 to 40 mils a minute. Yep. Um, and as far as, far as the, uh, the maxi doser goes, mm -hmm. This big boy is more suitable for moving larger volumes of water. Yep. Each head is, can transfer about 350 mils a minute. Yep. That is more suitable for auto top off and automatic water change purposes. Okay. Or nice. if you have a massive tank that ends yep. up needing large amounts of calcium aquamag supplement, yep. the maxi doser would be the, the suitable option. Okay. Excellent. All right, now down to the actual controller. So the Poor Flux 4 is one of the newest ones. It's our current model, yep. yep. And expansion box has so you can add in your own modules, bring right. it up further. Right. Now you also have a bit of a new control interface for it, right? Right. So I can show you what yep. that looks like. Our GHL Connect dashboard. Uh, this is basically what you would see, whether you connect to your Pro Plus controller, uh, dosing pump, or LX7. We use the same interface. What you see here right now is us connected to the Proflux 4 controller. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the dashboard. It's a fully customizable design in that you can view as little or as much information as you want. You can, you can monitor all your, your probe readouts yep. at a glance. You can take a look at all your dosing pump mm -hmm. uh, settings at a glance. If you have a cage director connected to your Proflux 4 or even a standalone dose 2.1, yep. you can take a look at what the last cage value was when the KHD did its test. Nice. Um, and as far, as far as the... So if someone just had, say, a cage director, mm -hmm. could they still set up with this dashboard or is this part of the controller? Absolutely, yep. absolutely. So if somebody had just a cage director mm -hmm. and a standalone dosing pump, yep. you would be able to see the cage director settings. Yep, okay, excellent. And, uh, and just to give you a quick idea of what it's like to set up a Proflux 4, um, is what we do differently is we use drop-down boxes. Yep. So let's say, for example, you wanted to set up a heater. Mm -hmm. You can do that in two steps. The yep. way you do that is you go to the temperature probe settings. You give this a description, so you can call it whatever you'd like. Yep. And you type in what what you type in the desired temperature that you want to yep. maintain. Once that's done, you go to the switch channels, mm -hmm. which are basically the outlets that would be connected to the ProPlug the system. Yep. So let's say you had your heater connected on outlet number one, select switch channel one. Mm -hmm. I already gave it a description of heater, because yep. that's what it will be. And for the function, as, as I said earlier, we use drop-down boxes, no yep. lines of code necessary. You select temperature, this will be a heater, mm -hmm. and you hit save, yep. and that's, that is how you set up a Perfect. heater function on a Proflux controller. Looks pretty easy. It's very straightforward. Awesome, cool. Nice new design. Thanks so much for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.